Hi guys, so um, today I've got something uh, exciting. Sorry, I said uh, in like the first part of the video, so my apologies there. Um, <laughs> I have something exciting to share with you. Well, I think exciting. Um, they are paint markers and I am a big super fan of paint markers. I use them all the time and I love them. So you may have seen on a previous video, I did a, um, a compare and review of the Posca paint markers and the Arteza, Arteza paint markers. Uh, well, this company, they reached out to me um, and asked if I'd like to uh, review their paint markers as well. They're called Zyla, Zila. I'm not 100% sure um, how you pronounce that. Um, so I'm like, yeah, totally, because, um, as I said, I like paint markers. So they've sent me this pack, a nice pack. It's 1.5 millimeter fine tip. There is, it says they're water-based and they are suitable for glass, pebble, fabric, metal, wood, plastic, and more. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd give them a go. I personally love painting on rocks. <laughs> um, I, I love doing that with my paint markers, amongst other things. Um, I use paint markers to go over um, acrylic and over watercolour um, when I'm um, painting and things. So yeah, I just, I, I do genuinely love a paint marker. <laughs> um, so I like the colour ways. Um, this is the Posca set that I've got. Um, I've got two sets. One is like the glitter one, but I think glitter is probably a misleading term. I think it's more mis metallic. Um, these, these are the um, Zilas, the Zilas. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna test drive them alongside each other and see um, top tips to make the most of your paint pens. Um, yeah, sorry, excuse my hands. These are like true artist hands. Like I've been working with dye today. <laughs> um, and yeah, scrub, 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 and they don't come off. <laughs> um, so here we go. It's just got a few um, uh, tips on there, which is really good, actually. I like that because it says here, like, fabric. Um, iron to fix the design on the reverse of the material and create a longer lasting design. Designs will last approximately 30 to 40 washes. Some fading may occur. Now that is really interesting. I didn't realise that you could use them on that. So these pens are water resistant when dry but need to be baked, heat fixed or sealed with an acrylic based varnish for a longer lasting finish. Okay, so when I... Um, when I paint stones, I usually use the um, Posca or the Arteza. Now the Posca paint pens, I keep permanently on my desk and the Arteza ones, I had to go and get them out of the van. <laughs> I keep these in, um, in a pencil case in my van so that whenever we're out and about um, and I wanna paint some stones and leave them, then we've got them. Um, now, um, these are like really metallic, so they make, um, they're metal, so they make a lot of noise, and they've got a re they're really rattly. These ones, the Zealers don't make any noise. The Poscas a bit, um, but these have got these are very noisy. The Arteza also stink. Um, they're quite smelly when you use them. Um, I'm not sure why, and a lot of them have leaked all over the place. So could be because they were always on the go in the van in all weathers I don't I don't know um but yeah if um if you were thinking about buying paint pens just beware like my artesas they just exploded everywhere they leaked everywhere um okay so then there's other um sort of like different tips and things on here so that's really really cool so I thought I'd just jump in and give them a go and what I will do is um you may have seen on my Instagram if you follow me over on Instagram I um, I painted some rocks when I did the Posca versus um, Posca versus Arteza video. I later on, like a couple of months later, I did a rock, and then a while later, I then um, showed you what the stone looked like just being out and about in my garden. Um, other people hijack my paint pens. Look <laughs> um, when they're on my desk and my journals on my desk. Um, so I, I shared an Instagram post of what the stone looked like 
months later I didn't use any um, varnish I didn't seal it at all the Arteza had like really faded and washed away and the Posca was still vibrant and perfect so I will do that with this mm, trying to get the plastic off of them that's the only downside of products like this is the plastic can't get the plastic off um so yeah downside is they come in plastic because that's not always good for the earth and secondly you can't get the damn things off <laughs> but i should have done this before i did the video but i didn't so um like with all paint pens shake hold down so the paint um paint comes down in a nib so shake hold down it takes a while sometimes for the um paint to come down in new paint markers Come on, baby, you can do it. Here we go, I can see it coming down now. It, once, once you've activated your paint pens, when they're brand new, you very rarely have to kind of like do this. They're like the paint is usually just there and ready. Occasionally you need to do the odd pump to get it going again. Okay, so here we go. Come on. The paint is coming down, but I'd like it to be a bit more fluid. There we go. Okay, so initially it's still a bit dry on my paper. There we go. I'm having to work it a bit to get the paint out. It's a nice vibrant colour though, but um, yeah, I'm having to work that quite a lot um, to get it out. Whereas the Posca is like um, straight away wet, juicy and vibrant. So we can see this, um, the Zila is a bit streaky. And that's the Posca, but See, I don't want to be too... There we go. There we go. We're getting more paint now. I so I don't want to be too harsh initially because, um, as I say, like once your paint's like activated and like freely in there, but it is a bit more scratchy. Okay, so that's sort of like um, the colour test, I guess, in my journal. And we'll do um, some rock painting. Um and see now I presume that these um, Zila are cheaper let me just have a look um, and we will see so Zila art supplies um, let's have a look because it's sometimes you have a different opinion when you look at the price because um if you if you're on a budget then you want to get the best um for your money so they also sell posca on their website zila so they've got posca paint an eight pack of poscas for 20 pounds should normally be 25 pounds let's see if i can find Paint markers. Posca, Posca. Here we go. Here we go. These are the Zealers. Um, how many were in there? Twelve. So the set of twelve Zealer they've got for of this fine tip they've got 1.5 millimeter set of 12 is 15.95 it's on sale it's got 36 percent off it should be 25 pounds that's for 12 so um just seeing if let's have a look I'll do like a price comparison for you but my maths is shit so <laughs> um yeah so obviously the poscas they come in eight and they are basically currently five pounds more for eight 
but normally they would be the same price for 8 and 12 so the Zila are just a bit cheaper so yeah I guess do your own price comparisons. So this website is Zela, Z I E L E R dot co dot UK. I do have a discount code for you guys, so check out the uh, description of the video um, so you can use the discount to get some money off your order if you fancy placing an order. They do um, other um, art supplies. I this, that's not an affiliate link by the way, so um, I make no money off of it. Um, so you can make your own own opinion and decide whether you want to go and buy them um, or not. Um, yeah, it's not an affiliate lick, so I don't make no money. The only thing I make from doing this video is I get some for a pack of free paint pens. That's all I get, Ooh, which I'm not grumbling at because I like paint pens, as I said. So um, let's try and activate another pen, the purple one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, just like follow me on so on Instagram or join the Facebook group and um, after a while I will post a photo. It'll be months probably because I'm going to put this stone out in the garden without any, without any sealer on it, without any varnish and we'll see how they fare against the Poscas. Come on, these do take a long time for the paint to come through. I do really like this colour purple and I do really want to use it, so come on. I think I did a rainbow last time I did the Posca versus Arteza, so I'm going to do that again. If this works. Come on. Come on. Well, at least this video is in real time for you guys, so you can get a true... A true representation come on come on baby I can see that you can see it's coming I really hope I don't become fouled one of those people the victim of one of those people who like takes people's videos and like cuts like cuts bits out of them that could be like steamed as an innuendo and then <laughs> clip them all together because sometimes my videos <laughs> I feel like would give people loads of content Come on, it's there, look, can you see? It's there. Just need you to get to the end, come on. So this paint in these markers, I don't feel is as high flow. Here we go. Just need it, to, here we go. Another, another induendo is coming, people. I just need it to get wet. I need it wet and nice and moist because the the tip has been <laughs> it's been dry for too long so I need it to get wet and really wet with this paint so that it can flow there we go there we go that's getting much better much better So the, the flow is still a bit scratchy, patchy, scratchy. Um, it's the flow, as you can see, I'm having to like, yeah, it's a bit patchy. Okay, so that needs a lot of work, a lot of work. So yeah, not massive impressed so far with the amount of work that they need to get them going um, but you know well as I say sometimes it could be just because like these Poscas have been well used and there's lots of flow there's lots of paint the nibs and the nibs nice and moist there's that moist again Okay, there we go, nice Posca there. Um, what colour should I use? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go for an orange. I'm talking about keeping the, the um, nib moist and then I've gone and um, left this open. 
<laughs> I'm going to use this actually. I was going to use an orange, but then I was like, oh, I've got to spend ages pumping it. Now, now, on this rough surface of the stone, this pen is working amazingly. It's really working really well. And I would say that on the stone, the Posca has kind of like absorbed into, into the stone. So in places it has gone paler. And the uh, Posca paint pen is sort of like watery and it can sometimes run. These Zealers, because they're a little bit on the drier side, they're kind of staying put a bit more and we're not noticing the rough, um, the scratchiness of the pen, like like on the like in the journal. So they're working so much better on the stone than um, the Posca. So there we go, guys. There we go. Wait, what colour should I use next? Okay, so I abandoned trying to do the orange because that was taking so long. The white took forever as well, but the black was um, really quick. <laughs> so yeah, in application, there is quite a difference between the Posca and the um, Zela. Um, the Zela goes on really nicely on the stone. Really, really impressed with that actually, how it goes on. Um, this white I hasn't all the way done. I think I was a bit excited when I stopped pumping it. Okay. Okay, this, this white's taking a bit longer. It's going on really nicely. So initially the um, Posca um, takes longer to dry and is wet and shiny and po possibly could do with another coat. The Zela is matte straight away and does not need another coat. So for me, when it comes to stone painting, I am gonna need a cup of tea. Because <laughs> my throat is getting dry. Um, when it comes to stone painting, I would probably go, knowing what I know now, I'd probably go for the Zelas. I would probably go for the Zealers. However, I don't know how well they would last up without 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 um, varnishing them though. So that will be a <coughs> only a time will tell thing. So um, you could say, well, why don't you just whack, like varnish them? Um, the reason I don't varnish my stones is because I usually do my painted stones like. When we're on a day trip somewhere or on holiday, this is why I keep paint pens in the van. Um, I don't really, I just like literally if we're parked up in a car park somewhere and I see a stone, I will paint it and leave it. <laughs> and so I don't really have the time to wait for varnish and things to dry. Um, so, see that basket was wet. Um, Oh. Yeah, I don't have time to hang around waiting for um, paint to dry before I can leave my stone. So I don't varnish it. I just leave, paint it, paint it, leave it and go. I The reason I have the Arteza in the van is because they're kind of a bit more abused. Um, and because they're cheaper than the Poscas and because I like the Poscas more than the Arteza ones. So I have my Posca paint pens on my art desk at home. So that I can um, use them more at home. But if I had the money to buy more, <coughs> I would buy the Posca over the Arteza any day. If I was solely wanting to do rock painting, based on this current little exploration, I would go for the Zela over the Posca for, for rock painting. But as I say, like for me, it's going to be a um, a time will tell thing. So I'm going to leave this out in my garden in the weather all weathers, and I will post it on. 
Instagram once it's kind of weathered a bit more and see how it does. So I'm just like adding extra dots and things because like I'm thinking like the dots they might wash off quicker. There we go. <coughs> so yeah, I'm really apart from the fact these take blooming ages to um to pump the colour out. They did take a long time to pump the colour. I probably wouldn't recommend them for use in a journal because they, as you saw, that was hard work. Um, for for rock painting, I would definitely recommend them. And um, I don't know. We'll see how they fare up for the waterproofness. <laughs> but if you use varnish or something, then you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I think they for rock painting for sure. They're definitely um, definitely good. Um, I'd be interested to try them on canvas and porcelain and other things as well. That would be really, really good to um, see what they're like. So there we go. Thank you, Zila, for sending these to me. That was super cool. Got some awesome new paint pens to try. And I'll probably, as I say, I'll wait and see what they, um, what they dry like. But these I might actually end up putting in the van and taking the Arteza out. And these might win over them. So, yeah. There we go, guys. Um, let me know if you've got these and what you think of them. Um, and yeah, we'll 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 find the best paint part markers between us. I'm sure we'll find the best paint markers for the job, like that you want to do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.